Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we are going to be talking about a brand new tool from Reallusion called Accurate. So when you first go to ActaCo, uh, the address is actaco.reallusion.com, uh, this is what you're going to see and then up at the top you're going to see a new menu item called Accurate, so click on that and this is what you're going to see. So this is a new tool, uh, they call it the next generation in automatic character rigging. So if you're familiar with uh, Mixamo, which is owned by Adobe, uh, they provide this automatic rigging, uh, an, an automatic rigging solution in Mixamo. So this is like a, a souped up version of that, you know, effort or that idea. And the idea again is to, they created this so that you could actually marry this with the motion pack from ActaCo and then even upload your own characters. It's, here's the thing, uh, when you are ready, before you even start, make sure you click on free download over here. And once you, you've downloaded it, it's going to install it in this folder. Let's so you, it's going to download it in your downloads folder and then double click on it and it's going to install it. So let's go ahead and run ActaCo Accurig. And this is what the interface looks like. It's very simple, but it offers uh, a little bit more than what Adobe offers, you know, in terms of editing of uh, the bonds once you've uh, uploaded them. So this is, once you've installed this, then the next stage is to for you to get a character for you to use. And today I'm going to be going to Sketchfab. Sketchfab is an awesome, awesome platform. Uh, it's actually right, right now owned by Epic, Epic Games. And you can, when you log in, you're going to be logging in as your Epic Games, you know, account. And that will enable you to download the, the models. Yeah. So once you're ready, uh, over here on the news feed, you're going to see all manner of awesome characters that you can use. But what I recommend is that make sure you uh, narrow it down to the category of uh, models, right? Go to characters and creatures over there and make sure you select downloadable, you know, because you want to be able to download the model itself. And once you found something here, there are a number of them are for sale, but every now and then you find free ones like this Darth Vader over here. So in the, uh, I guess the, uh, I, the theme of Star Wars, I was able to find a model, this clone trooper over here that I'm going to download and use. And let's go ahead and click on download over here. And it comes in several fo file formats. Uh, this one is an FBX file, which we definitely need. Uh, make sure you credit the creator, please. <laughs> it is an, it's important to do that because you're using a free model, but you can also use your own model of, uh, that's not rigged. So let's go ahead and download the original format over here and go ahead and open the file. Okay. Uh, right now it's in a zip file, so it's going to be something like that. I'm just going to open it. it on, if you're using a different uh, operating system, make sure you unzip it. But in Windows 10, you can double click on a zip file. And I'm going to copy these folders here and just take them and create a new sub uh, subfolder here and call it uh, Trooper. All right, let's just paste that in here and the texture files are over here and so I'll just, uh, I need to copy these also. I just need them to be on the root so that I can actually, let me paste them here. Okay, and looks like there's a file in here that's also zipping so let's double click on it, open it and let's copy this also, copy uh, or unzip in your case. And we're gonna provide, put it in the source over here, paste. All right, so the key is uh, for the FBX file to have access to the, it, the texture so they show up when you load it. And I'm gonna copy this path over here. And then we're gonna go to Accurate. Choose a file. By default, it might not show exactly where you want to be. So just uh, paste the path over here. And let's pick up our clone trooper and open it up. And let's see how long it takes, because uh, this is the impressive part. If you, that was quick. <laughs> so I'm yet to find out if it's using GPU or the CPU, but it will be, it's awesome if it's using GPU because then I have a 3090 card on this particular machine and uh, I'm able to 
do a lot of things that never used to be able to do <laughs> this machine and so so the model is set up and so if you notice any like if it's not symmetrical you can always adjust this center line and be able to rotate and use these uh, controls over here okay so we're going to try to see without even much editing to see how well it does okay so let's go ahead and click on rig body over here and it goes through and processes and let's see how long it takes as well uh, so I, if you have, uh, this is an online platform, uh, Actor Core is an online platform, but this is local. Accurig is a local tool, so you're not really dealing with uh, cloud processing. It's doing it locally on your machine. But when you upload your model to Actor Core, then it's going to use uh, your, your internet access. All right. So it has placed the different, you know, points where you, the head is going to be rotating. That's the neck, and then you got the clavicles, and as you mouse over on the different parts, you can see where it's supposed to actually fit. So it, that's a reference on the right-hand side that enables you to know exactly where to put it properly. Okay. So if, for example, if you didn't want, it, didn't want the uh, bending of the knee to be here, you can always just shift it up a little bit. All right. So that's the default setup. Then go, comes to the hands, rig right hand. And when the right hand is done, then it will give you the option to rig the left hand. It's going to go through and automatically assign uh, the finger nodes and also the bones. And it it will automatically detect if you're in an A pose, a T pose. Uh, that's what's amazing. <laughs> so once it's rigged the hands, it gives you an opportunity for you to update or fix something. For example, like right here, you can see that it puts it a little bit off. So you just move it over here and I recommend just don't rotate this uh, see this viewport or camera perspective just yet just let it use what it's suggesting over here so you can line up with the, the different parts like if you notice something is off right don't do mirror <laughs> to the right the other hand uh, because it's gonna mess it up just uh, focus on this so right now I see that this needs to be here this one needs to be here that's good this one's good okay and let's go to the left hand. Uh, this is really amazing. So you can see this needs a little bit of adjusting. So it does it automatically, but every uh, every now and then there are some things that you know you have to adjust accordingly. So just uh, find those in the points where the fingers bend and adjust accordingly. And this this provided view is I think it's the best way that it suggests. So stick to that one. All right. Now that we're ready. Yeah, go ahead and finalize the character. Again, as you can see, it's processing pretty fast. Uh, imagine having to rig a character, <laughs> you know? It's been just a few minutes since we started doing this. Uh, what, about seven minutes? And already you've made progress. So imagine how much longer it would have taken you to try to rig a character by, by hand. That's where the auto rig uh, comes in Acric. And Acric is a cool name too. It seems that, it says that it's going to be accurate. And look at that. So now we have a, a character that has been rigged. <laughs> you have a, that's amazing. You got a clone trooper that's ready for animation. So by default, it gives you this idle animation, but you can also go to the body over here and select this particular animation to see how well, oh, there's no body in sight. <laughs> so I, as you're picking up free models, just be careful. It looks like it's more like an outfit. So you, can, you may need to add some things in there. To fill up that space but uh, overall we have a clone trooper that's ready to animate but look how awesome that is it actually has done an awesome job of automatically rigging the character to look like that isn't that amazing i am truly truly impressed you know and look at even the bones and the feet like uh right here with plants let's go ahead and try a different one like different poses over here right this is so cool now let's try the hands and let's test the hands to see how well the fingers were rigged look at that that is very very impressive because you know how in maya and in 3ds max even in blender how you have to paint weights and everything this has painted the weights for you <laughs> automatically <laughs> And even did a good job on the elbows. So something I noticed over here, uh, there are like some like bending parts here that uh, 
kind of uh, a little bit of, I need to see it in the textured mode to see what's going on here. But uh, there are some issues that you notice severe, but these are easy fixes if you take it to your program to fix. Okay, so we have the character now. It's time for me to export it and test it in iClone and also uh, the Unreal Engine. So let's go ahead, uh, let's try acting over here just to be sure <laughs> that's female acting. <laughs> There's a male actor over here. Hey. You know, I've been thinking about going to the Clone Wars and man, this job, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Maybe I need to be a rebel, right? <laughs> it's just acting out. And uh, let's try out the, the walking, different kinds of walk. You know, I've actually, when I watch Star Wars, the Rebels with my son and I see those kinds of walking and this one is more like, yeah, I'm in command. This is more like cartoony, like that. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, pause this. You can still rotate around it if you want. And let's go ahead and export. Now you can upload it to Acta Core if you're already logged in and you can export that. So let's go and export it as an FBX file. And you can export for Maya, right? You can embed the texture using the original texture. Uh, you can have like a 4096. 40, All right, so let's go to, I uh, want to upload for Unreal Engine and want to embed the texture, export, and let's put it uh, somewhere else. Export. Now let's put it here. Okay, and uh, let's also export uh, one an I avatar. So I wanna send it to, uh, let's go to downloads, Trooper export and we're gonna export as an i avatar because we want to be able to even take it to iClone and test it. Copy and save. Okay. And another option you have is export as as USD. So that means you can send it. We could do original. Yeah, original is fine. We'll be able to use it in Omnibus. So trooper export USD. All right. Is that amazing? So all right, so we have all those options. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up iClone over here. And we need to uh, like browse to where it should be like a custom folder because we want to be able to add a character here. Let me just actually create a, a subfolder and just going to call it Accurig. Okay, uh, let's find this folder. Okay. So that's where we need to put uh, our character and let's go to uh, downloads over here and let's go to trooper. Let's find our export. Let's copy our I avatar from here and put it over here. All right. So if we come up here, you see that it has uh, this added the character here. Let's just browse over here real quick. All right. So now that we have it here, we can just double click on it it's going to show up in the viewport over here. Okay, so now I'm missing the textures, uh, but that's a quick fix. I can go to the texture editor over here, undersuit, clone armor and helmet. So let's start with uh, the armor itself. All right, we're going to double click on this and load the texture. And we're starting with the armor itself. So let's see, this is the helmet. This is the armor, the base. Let's select that one, open. All right, so that's ready. Then we're gonna go back to the character, go texture map, uh, the helmet, double click on that. And uh, basic helmet over here, open that, done. And we need one more undersuit. Uh, let's see, where's the undersuit? That's helmet. Undersuit textures over here. Uh, clone trooper undersuit base. Let's open that. All right, good. And so we, you notice it has some bump maps, so normal maps. So we're gonna go back to its best uh, path. And that's for the undersuit. It has a normal map, so we'll add the normal map. Okay, and then go to the clone armor as well. Uh, double click on that. 
and the suit, go back to the clone armor. This is a clone armor, no more map, no more. All right, then one more, helmet, double click. <laughs> no more map for the helmet, open. Good, all right, and then we have also metallic over here, so double click on metallic for the helmet. Do that again, uh, metallic. That's the path again. And let's find a uh, helmet metallic. Okay. And then let's do the body as well. Uh, metallic. Let's go armor metallic. Armor on armor metallic. Okay. All right. So we know that uh, that's a PBR for the textures. Okay, good. So now we are ready to add some animation. Let me see if I can resize this so we can see better. Let's go to some animation over here. And let's see if uh, our character can dance. Let's go to motion, hip hop, street dance, basic uh, moves. And let's do reject. <laughs> You don't want to be a reject, let's double click on that and it's playback. <laughs> so as you can see guys, the rig works, the character is very nicely, you know, animated, you can see it. It's so cool, you know, and let's try something else. Uh, let's do uh, opening moves, basic moves, a routine, let's do an actual routine. Double click. All right, let's turn it around. Let's see what he can do in the routine. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that wraps up uh, our test for today. So we went from uh, Akirig all the way from Actaco. Uh, we went to Akirig, we downloaded the free version and here below we got a preview of what you could do. We went to Sketchfab over here, we were able to look at uh, some of the models that are free available and then we we're able to download our Clone Trooper as an FPX file using the download link over here and I want to give a credit to Admiral Tributon Tributan, I suppose. Uh, he's the one that uh, modeled this. Please give him credit if you should you use this one. And uh, we made it all the way to iClone over here and we're able to add the animation and the clone trooper looks awesome. I'll leave him dancing over here because he's really happy. <laughs> and maybe try, let's try this one also. Uh, I, I'm just having too much fun over here. <laughs> Um, Cornwall. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that uh, this was uh, helpful. If you're getting started with uh, Akirig, that uh, you get a, give it a chance. Uh, go ahead and download. It's a free version, but you also need an Actaco Actaco account. And uh, if you're new to my channel, guys, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream, guys. Let's continue to use these tools to tell our own story. So if you are a 3D modeler and you have created a character in ZBrush, this is an awesome way to get it quickly animated and then, I'd rather quickly rigged for animation and then be able to add animation in iClone and then you'll be able to export it to the Android engine. So maybe in my next video, I'll show this uh, in the Android engine. But overall, thank you so much again for joining me today, guys. Uh, stay blessed. Much love to each and every one of you. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right, bye for now.